Alrighty guys, what a happy Thursday guys. Oh my goodness. I love flaming hot, but I don't like hot, if that makes sense. I don't like necessarily spicy food. And I I always have like cravings for little things. And today it was flaming hot with lemon, but I didn't put lemon because I was lazy wrapping lemon. So I just ate flaming hot with my coca, coca cola. So I came home. I want to work with my parents, and oh my goodness, my phone finally worked because it was on uh, unlocked. But I don't know what was going on. It was acting up, and. Me without my phone is like me without pizza, you know. Or oops, oops, sorry, excuse me, y'all. Um, you know. <coughs> oh, so basically, me without my phone is basically me without. Matter all. <laughs> in a lot of ways, and I literally was gonna wait until next week or finger out something because I was gonna go insane. So something popped into my head. I grabbed my sister in law's phone, she has an iPhone 6. 6S. Last year's model, basically. Um, and I grabbed it and I tried to fix it on her phone, and it worked. So that means I need a new iPhone. <laughs> I need a new iPhone. So, I should get an iPhone too and not get ripped off for it. So, that's definitely a story time right there. Because I got ripped off for $200 off of a, for an iPhone on a Facebook um, seller thing. It was too good to be true. If something is too good to be true, my brother-in-law always says, but my hard-headed ass wanted something and very impulsive. I got ripped off for two hundred dollars, and it's a long story. But hey, you live and you learn. You know, next time, just wait for my brother-in-law to help me find an iPhone and a good one. <laughs> oh, you know, one of those. I don't. You know, refurbish whatever, uh, phones, you know, I don't know what they're called. But today was a pretty good day. Um, went to work with my parents, came back, ate leftovers, which Priscilla made some Filipino alfredo with the little, little square bowl of things with cheese on top, which I'm a cheese fanatic. Clearly, I'm a cheese fanatic. And I've been, I eat like a big thing of that because Oh, sorry, y'all. Uh, and, um, a little bit of, a uh, chicken parmesan with cheese. I ate that. And, I'm <laughs> that's what I'm, yeah. Yeah, sorry, guys. I really just ate, like, 20 minutes ago, so I'm sorry. I don't want to be rude, y'all. So, basically, that was my day. Um, I didn't eat lunch or dinner or breakfast, I should say, because I woke up late, because I spent, I, it was around 2.20 something, when my phone, I couldn't go to sleep, I usually, when I don't sleep, I'm always on my phone looking at things, and, you know, tweeting, and, like, all that fun jazzy stuff, and it was, like, it shut down automatically, and it didn't work until tried a close to an hour, I was, like, I grabbed my laptop, I was on the computer for like an hour, and then I gave up around 4, like 20, and I went back to it. <laughs> and my phone, my actual Sam, ugh, Sam Chuck, even though I don't like you, but you're worth it, you know? Basically, this right here, can I say my screensaver? was my iPhone for right now because technically it's a good phone don't get me wrong it's not an iPhone you know we have to start somewhere um and 
I literally was using this to text, to call friends, and you know, not necessarily to call friends, but you know, my iPad and my music is on here, but kind of sucks because uh, it depends on, because the Metro PCS, Metro does not have a good coverage, it sucks, really does, but it is worth it, you know what I mean, this is actually my first real, real phone that I bought with my own money, so technically this is my first phone, it's okay, it kind of sucks that I want an iPhone, but hey, but um, I finally got my phone to work. I got my life back. <laughs> I'm being weird, y'all. Sorry, I'm being a little over, over excited. Alrighty, guys, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm just chilling. I found Hamilton clips. Ah! Highlight of my day, y'all. I'm drinking Coke and I'm drinking, I'm eating some chips too. Chips, cookies and some chips that I demolished. Relaxing, relaxing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. May the Lord bless you today, tomorrow, and always. And I'll be seeing you. Bye, everyone. Happy last Friday of the year, y'all. Happy Friday, y'all. It is a rainy, rainy, rainy Friday. I guess we're cleansing the world. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. Oh, man. Good morning. I have to go do things with my mom and errands, but this rain, ew. I don't like going out in the rain. I don't like going out in the rain. I love the rain, but I don't love going outside in the rain. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Over there inside, inside the room. Good girl. Okay. Good girl, that's my girl. Save. Come to the light. Come to the light. Bueno, le dije, yo te estoy comprando. ¿Qué pasa? Le dije. ¿Qué le estás pidiendo? La quina. De me das. Buen amor. Buen amor. Pero como de mala gana. Le estoy gastando y se le llenó y estaba de tonta. No me dio chile la fruta y me estaba cobrando. Sí, no vi. Aquí hay un montón. Oh. Y le digo, oh sí, mi hijo, aquí está. Y me dijo, amor. Sí, te estoy con Alright guys, I'm going to end it here. Happy almost New Year. Happy Eve Eve. New Year's Eve. That makes sense. Happy last Friday of the year, y'all. It's going to be New Year's in less than 24 hours. <laughs> technically around there but it was a pretty good day even though it was a really rainy Cody Cody is that even a Cody name <laughs> is that even the name code day it was raining on and off which is good we need some rain and they need some water we need some water that's what we need some water last Starbucks for the year y'all Salted caramel milk, even though they didn't have salted caramel drizzle, whatever, because they ran out. So I'm currently doing my nails, which I am. What happened, Carmen? Alright, guys, sorry, my sister had to handle her business, but I am kicking it with some neutrals. I had, it's a pizza pie, I believe it's called, the one that I really, really love. The. Orangey, perfect for fall and winter, that color. 
really good color, especially for this time of weather when it's freezing outside. And it's freezing outside for LA, yes. It's like, what? I'm not sure. I think it's like, what? 15 degrees? Maybe? Most of not. I'm overly exaggerating, but, um. Yeah, it's currently 57 degrees. LA time. So, yeah. For us, it's cold. <laughs> For us, it's freezing. Um, but yeah, so yesterday, tomorrow, I should say, I'm gonna be with church. I'm gonna be at church with my parents, bringing in the new year. This is the second time that we did it in our church, and we have a church, we can do that. So, yeah, it's going to be very fun and interesting and boring. Let's keep it real. I have to now start wearing skirts because I, uh, Sister Lord was like, oh, she needs to set the example. How can you be pastor if you can't pastor her own daughter? Like, really, lady? Okay, because it's like ooh, disrespectful and like all oh, this other BS. And, like, honey. The Lord ain't looking for the longest skirt in the world, I'm just saying. He lo he looks for the heart, not for your dress code, boo-boo. At least that's my opinion. I'm very modern in my beliefs. You know what I mean? I'm very yes, I believe in the word I believe in the word of God and yes, I don't believe the word of God should never be changed and no, I'm not trying to say that. I'm trying to say that just some people take it too, too far, you know what I mean? And, you know, that generation, my parents' generation and that lady's generation, even though she's technically a little bit older than my daddy, I would say she's probably in her 60s, I would say. Um, kind of, kind of, um, you know, has a old school mentality of thinking and, and I'm new school of my way of thinking, which is perfectly fine, you know? It's perfectly fine. Everybody has their own opinions on uh, church attire. Like, you have to look a certain way. You have to sound a certain way. You have to act a certain way. Since being a pastor's daughter, <laughs> you can't really screw up, can you? No, you cannot screw up, y'all. You cannot screw up. But don't get me wrong, I'm... I'm very blessed to have my parents be my parents. You know, I wouldn't give them up for anything because I am truly, truly blessed to have my parents be my parents. You know, I feel like I'm very lucky and I'm very, very blessed that I was born into the family I was born into and I wouldn't change that for the world. You know, yeah, even though we do have our disagreements. But it is what it is. Not everything, not everything that, you know, you agree with, you have to agree with, you know, like Christmas tree or lighting or whatever. But then again, God's not going to get mad at me for little things, if that makes sense. Um, but some people will say, no, you should do this, you should do that. You know, the whole real, uh, re, real, uh, religious mindset in a way. Um, and I don't have that religious mindset. I'm more of a come as you are person. You know, God will accept you wherever you are, whatever walk of life you are in, wherever you are spiritually, you know, with him, he will accept you. And really, this is for me. Um, you know? And I don't wanna sound all oh my goodness, super religious. No. I believe in the Lord. I love the Lord. I I have my own walk with Him, just as as my dad, just like as my mom, just like people in my church. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, you have to be this way. You can't be double sided, honey. I'm never double sided. You know, I'm the way who I am. I'm not holier than thou. Does that make me um? Wearing the skirt does not make me more holy or more Christian. No. It's what I believe in my heart. You know, it's all about and how I serve the Lord. Yes. <laughs> you know, I, you know, it's not like, oh my God, you should do this. You should do this. No. No. No one can tell me 
what I should do and what I shouldn't do. Because at the end of the day, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Starbucks is coming up. Um, at the end of the day, we all have our own walk with the Lord. You know, no one's perfect but God. You know, so I, I just don't like people's very, oh, highly opinions about, especially about me. Because I am the pastor's daughter and I have to be this little perfect little angel. At the end of the day, I'm, go I'm gonna, God willing, be 24 years old. 25 years old, what am I saying? 20, I'm 24 now. 25, I'm about to be 25. Technically, 25-ish. Um, learning my own way in the world. You know, growing up, getting out of my parents' shadow, which that is definitely one of my goals next year, to not be so, even though, yes, I love my parents, but I need to not be always be with them, you know? I don't need to always depend on mommy and daddy, because at the end of the day, when mommy and daddy go to heaven, I have to depend on myself, if that makes sense. You know, God forbid... Anything um, bad were to happen, and I pray that it doesn't to me or anyone I love, any any friend or family that I love, but I just have to d learn how to depend on myself, you know? I have to learn how to be, you know, be Miss Claudia, you know, Miss not Miss Little Cece anymore, you know? I have to be an adult. I have to, I'm... Um, I'm joining adulthood next year because I'm going to be 25, you know? I have to be my own person, not just what people tell me. And that's very hard as a pastor's daughter. You have to live and you have to grow and you have to make mistakes, you know? And I, and I finally feel free that I can do that. Um, you grow. You know, next year, yes, this year has been a very interesting year. A very, um, good year for, uh, for very, this year has been really good to me. I have learned a lot. I have grown. I have grown. I have got a better vocal, which I'm very proud of myself. I just replied. I stopped caring what people have said about me, and I stopped. Um, you know, it's, it's just, um, you know, it's not easy when this certain category of people tell you, oh, you should be this. No, no, you should be this little good girl. Honey, I'm a, I'm a grown, I'm about to be grown, I'm grown, I'm, I'm in my womanhood, I'm a woman, I'm not a child anymore. Next year, the Lord gives me life, um, I want to be an adult. Truly, that's why I want to start driving, that's okay, that's why I want to start, um, that's why I want to be independent and free out of my parents. Crap. Don't get me wrong. I love my parents. Truly, I love my parents, but I, I'm tired of being this little good girl. And I have to learn and grow from my mistakes, which I have. This year, I've learned and grown from my mistakes. And that's how you grow. That's how you become a better person. And the Lord knows that. And the known God knows my heart. No one else does. People can say whatever they want. But it's really, um, it's not about the whole, oh, you should wear skirts. Because you're the pastor's daughter, you should set the example. No, um, it's, it's just. There's a whole perfection of things. The whole um, perfection of being the bastard's daughter. 
No one would ever if you're in the no one would understand if you're not in the same position I am in. Does that make sense? Oh, don't get me wrong, these series are not of of hatred or sadness of anything, it's just not even a verbal wellness, it's just sick. It's just come on people. I'm about to be next year I'm about to be twenty five, I'm not a child anymore. I need to learn to grow and get out of my parents' shadow. Because that's better for me. But it's really, really hard when they labor with you as a pastor's daughter and you have to be that little good girl. Um, yeah, sorry that, um, sorry that I cried. Sorry. Okay, sorry that I ran on a rant. Sorry, guys. Here I am. Um, but... May the Lord bless you today, tomorrow, and always, and I'll be seeing you.